Hello gang, how are you doing? It's me, Mr. Motivator, and welcome. Palmer is here to show you the alternative, and I'm gonna take you through a tough workout. Oh my goodness, week six. Research and critical thinking. Running on the spot, let's go. So we're gonna warm up, and also this is gonna form part of the exercise that we're gonna to do today. So it's a big welcome to Umbrella Training, and a big shout out to all apprentices and business leaders. And we walk. We're gonna do it again. Running on the spot, go! Now let's see if you can keep up with me. Pop the hands above the heart. Straight up. Very good. Keep striding. Yes, yes, yes. We march. Hope. Uh huh. Yes, yes. Okay, let's try it again. So you run on the spot, stride out, and spotty dogs on the end. Here we go, run it. Yes, so if you're short for time, these exercises are perfect. If you want to fit in a quick routine, here we go, go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stride out. Here we go. Come on. Able. Six, five, four, three. Now, spot the dog. Here we go. Go. Give me eight more, quickly. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We march. So, those three exercises alone will improve muscle tone, get your heart rate going. You can do, call it one round once you've done three and then you can do lots of different rounds. So aim for about three or four, and as you improve, you can make it all tougher. But for those of you sitting in front of the computers a long time, I'm gonna show you something that would help you to avoid this. And here it goes. You stand up, or you sit down, hands up in the air, form a Y, All right? Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Very good, hold it there, squeeze it together, push up as far as you can, good. Now you bring it down to a W. Hold it there, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Yes, I can feel it. Uh-huh. Now we're gonna go down to the L. Coming down like so, tuck your elbows into the side. Just keep squeezing your shoulder blades together. So that's Y, W, L. We're going back up now. Here we go, going up to a T. Hold it there, squeeze your shoulder blades together. So let's quickly run through it again. Here we go, Y. Yes, yes, coming down to a double. You, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Okay, good, coming down to an L. Yes, 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 yes. Coming up to a T. And what do those initials spell? It goes, you will live taller. And if you keep doing that every single day, guess what's gonna happen? You'll be able to correct this, you'll get improvement because what happens when you're using only the muscles at the front, they get neglected. So remember that, all right? Quick chat for today, all right? And I just wanna focus on the days when you feel particularly bad. You know, you get out of bed, you don't feel like it, you don't feel like going on. It's important that whilst we're in this lockdown, that every day when you get up, you get dressed for purpose. So you don't stay in your pajamas, you don't stay yeah, in the dressing gown, you put your clothes on. Put your best clothes on. I don't mind you having trainers on. But then also, what you want to do is, on the hour, set your alarm clock, your Fitbit to go off, and then remind yourself to get up and do that YWLT. Because it's really good for you. Because these muscles up here carry a lot of your tension. And the more you exercise those, the more it's going to change your posture, change your outlook, and it's gonna make you feel good. So, get dressed for a purpose, right? Put on your best clothes. I don't mind you having trainers on. And then also what you do is find your favorite music and put that on. And that means any time you feel like just having a party, you can. But if you ever get so stressed that that doesn't work, how about this? Get your photo album out. And let's look at some of the pictures of you having a good time because photo albums only ever show good times, yes? And they bring back such wonderful memories. 
So use your photo album. What else can you do? Well, you could escape and read a book. The other thing you could do is get up and go for a walk. Yes? Or if in the home right you want to basically lock yourself away, put a sign on the door saying do not disturb for the next 30 minutes. But whatever you do, take time out away from any issues that may be worrying you. If you find that you just can't see clearly, right, this is a good way of just clearing your mind and putting on some real gentle music and just closing your eyes for a moment and just breathing. Just taking some deep breaths is a great way of relaxing you. So that way you can make some real good judgment about your future and where you want to go. And remember, if you ever feel like quitting, think about why you started. Yes, there's a reason why you started this journey. Focus on that. Obstacles are what you see when you take your eyes off your goal. So, if you would like to learn how to find viable solutions to problems and gain insight into developing strategies, skills and knowledge to overcome obstacles, then you've got to make sure that you're signing to everything that's available. Yes? So be well, look after yourself. Don't forget there's loads of experts who will guide you through the problem solving cycle. And they have information on tried and tested research techniques and they're there for you. So sign into it, right? Be well, look after yourself and thank you for joining me again. See you soon.